Hi guys. Hey. Happy Wednesday. We're coming at you live for our Ask an Advocate. This is when we come to you to meet you where you're at on your wellness journey. So if you have any questions at all, please never hesitate to drop them in the comments, shoot us an email, whatever it is, however you can get it to us. We want to help you. So we are going to talk about some oil hacks because yes, that's a thing. <laughs> Um, and you know the versatility of the oils anyways, but we're going to teach you even um, actual essential oil hacks as well as some product hacks um, because there's versatility in everything. You just have to think outside the box. And yeah. um, some of what we're going to tell you is not like earth shattering, um, but maybe you haven't thought of it before. And we just want you to be able to maximize your um, oils and your products as much as possible. So um, take it away, Tiff. Yes. Oh, okay. oh, wait, I forgot who we are. Oh. You forgot who we are? <laughs> I forgot who we are. <laughs> I'm Danette uh, with Wellness Spoiled. I'm Tiffany with Nature's Gift. <laughs> and we both partner with doTERRA essential oils to provide you with that ongoing support and education. Okay. Now, take okay, now we're ready. Okay. <laughs> well, good. Well, Danette and I were talking about there, there is like she said, there is so many oil hacks out there. Um, but I said, I, I wanted to talk about one that is a, a favorite of mine, which is correct X. Um, if you don't have this one, it is um, amazing. Really, honestly, it you can use it for so much, but it really, I mean, it's an ointment that you can uh, replace your neosporine if you use that, um, but it goes much further than just cuts and that's kind of, that kind of thing that you would think you would use it for. Um, I, my hands are super dry, I mean, just from washing them all the time and, you know, dry climate, but they are super dry. So what I've been doing at night is I'll put a little on my hands and with, well, I use this lotion. So it's a doTERRA um, Citrus Bliss lotion. And I'm weird. I don't like have it on my my palms of my hands. Um, so I sit there and rub it all around um, before I go to sleep. Um, this also can is great for your cuticles. Um, so it helps, you know, dry uh, cuticles. Um, I also put it under my eyes before I go to sleep. I don't do it all the time because I kind of forget because then I also have the eye um, roller, but I'll put it under my eyes before I go to sleep at night as well for um, puffiness and for um, wrinkles. I don't have wrinkles. What am I talking about? I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't anymore. Thanks, Zotara. Um, so chap lips, you know, just rubbing it um, right on those lips. Uh, lip pumper. You can also put... Um, either spearmint or peppermint also that can help when you're putting it on with it. Um, like I said, eye cream. I also have dark spots that um, you can put it straight on there. Um, uh, tattoos. When you get a, a tattoo, you can put it um, on your tattoo. I also recommend it for burns, like in the kitchen when you've, last night I, I, dumb, grab the, Grab the um, cookie sheet, stupid, and I put it straight on there. It takes away the burn, and um, there is nothing. You can't even tell that I burnt my hand last night. Um, one I I hesitated telling you, but hemorrhoids. I mean, I've never had hemorrhoids, but you can use them for that too. <laughs> so just in case we, there's no judgment, and we are not. Um, you do not need to tell us that it worked or didn't work for your hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> you can use it for hemorrhoids, cold sores. So there is like endless uses, hacks for this little guy. This is, I think it's 12, 12, 50, something like that. Uh, no, yeah. 16. Okay. Somewhere in the, that range. Something like that. It, it's fantastic. Oh, one other thing I would like to say, my husband had a ginormous boo-boo on his leg. And <laughs> once it, we, we had to go with what the doctor recommended for wound care. But once it, it started to um, heal nicely, he now rubs that on his wound every single day. And I know, Danette, you've talked about, um, correct X with wound stuff as well. So 
Mm -hmm. That is the one that I really, really like and recommend. And to I them. use it. I use it on old scars. So I had a decade old scar that was about this big and dark brown. And I was able to shrink it to this big and white. So it works really good. I mean, you have to be consistent. I yeah. had to consistently do it for like six months before I noticed the difference. But I'm telling you to take a scar from that big to this big and from brown to white, huge difference. Um, and so I use it also on um, blemishes. So I don't get them very often, but I'm a picker. And so I don't let them be. <laughs> and so CorrectX is really good for after you've been picking at your face and put it on there so that it doesn't leave any marks, especially if you have teenagers too. Yeah. Um, Talon does the same thing. Same. Same <laughs> it's kind of hard not to. I know they say not to, but it's kind of hard. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Well, and one thing I just wanted to point out, key word that Danette said is consistency with all of your oils is consistency. So if you are trying to get rid of, like I was just sitting here and I was like, oh my gosh, I can see that H bar right there. Um, <laughs> but I put stuff on it all the time and it has, um, it has, I guess, faded, mm -hmm. but it is because I do it every single day. So it's yeah. consistency is, is huge. So, so I'm going to teach you a little hack, super, super simple, a bathroom refresher hack. So you roll a toilet paper and just take, like I'm using Island Mint right now, but just take your oil. Oh, I can't do it. And you put it, just drop it right in there. And then every time you pull the roll, it puts, puts the, um, oil into the air. So super duper easy. Yeah. Um, who doesn't want their bathroom to smell delicious? I know. Like Island you, know what, you know how we prep whenever people come over to our house and maybe people are not coming over right now still, but when you have company, you know how we turn on our diffuser or, um, you know, you tidy up and things like that. Make that part of your routine, go into the bathroom, sprinkle it into your, um, thing. You can have your poopery as well. Yeah, <laughs> but that's a good one. In case so I mean some people don't like that, right? Like they're because they're like, oh if I spray that then they'll know. <laughs> so anyway, right. That, that's a just a, a super easy tip. Yeah. So, and so pick whichever one which oil you like that you that smells yeah. delicious that you like. Island mint is a good one. Um Air X, I haven't tried that, but I just thought of oh putting yeah that in there. I diffuse that one like crazy. Yes. I put that in my humidifier all the time. Um, nice. Yeah, so super simple hacks. We're gonna um, keep bringing some more hacks to you so that you can, you know, like I said, maximize your usage. So um, yes. hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and we'll see you next week. Okay, bye guys.